life of a Bill's video employee. Just unlocked the door. Normally when I unlock the door, I'd come in here and punch in the code to turn off the alarms, but I had already done that. And now I have to call the um, CompuScan company to tell them that uh, that is opening the store and not a robber. So now that the store is officially open and ready for business, I come over here to this main computer terminal, turn it on, type in the code AICV, which will give me access to the, there we go, um, hit enter if that time is correct. The date is May 22nd, 1991, 9.51 in the morning. We open the tent, so we better get going here. Hit enter if correct. It is correct. And now what I want to do is go to the printout selection so I can print out a, a sales summary throughout the day of yesterday so we know how much money we made yesterday. That's number one, print sales summary. Okay, now I can only do that by returning a movie. Here's the store closed. This is what it looks like when it's closed. Everything is turned down except for the interior lights which shine into the store so that we can see any robbers coming into the store. So I'll turn those ones off and turn the ones on that facing the posters so that everybody can see the posters and then turn on all the rest of the store lights. And the store is almost open. Now I will go to our outside drop box. I need the key for it first. I will go to it, open it up, and take out a movie and return it into our computer system so that I can I, so that I can print a sales summary, which will tell us all the money and all the movies that we put out yesterday. We will return Arthur. I'll go to the, all the terminals here. We got five terminals, starting with terminal number one, two. Number one is in the back. This is terminal number two. Passcode for these ones is AICP, not AICV. All the drawers are left open because if a burglar looks in and if they're closed, he might think there's money in it. So to save them the trouble, we let them know right away that there's no money in the drawers, so we keep them open. Again, I will turn them all on and type in the passcode for each one. I'll let you see the screen, what it looks like first thing in the morning. There are the passcodes. We want AICP because we want all these computers, the ones that we type in AICP, we want them all to be recorded on the sales summary for tomorrow. Okay. AICP. And this one's AICV because we do not want to record anything from this terminal, for this is the one we use to return movies. Whoops, this one did not read for some reason. Whoops. Okay. Now, oh, this one didn't read either. There we go. Now this is the one I'd like to use just because I'm right-handed and I like to use my left hand towards the monitor. So I'm going to use this one. Hit enter if correct. May 22nd, 9.55 a.m. It's correct, so I'll hit enter. Uh, I want to go to the point of sale and I want to go to the transaction display. Now it's going to ask me for my salesperson number. I'm number 10, so I'll type in 10, I'll hit enter, and my name will appear in the top right-hand corner as you can see. And now I am the only one allowed to use this computer. Now I'm going to return that movie uh, on my computer. Where's Arthur? There it is. Okay, just look at the number in the top left hand corner. Type in question mark as in who took this one out? Who took out 24857? And the person will come up. Rosalina Colzoni. Oh, we need her new phone number. I guess we have the wrong number there. She's got three items out. So I'm going to hit out and return all three of those items because it doesn't matter. They are all late. Whoa, these suckers are late. Uh, this is, a, uh, as you can see here, overdue. I don't know if you can read that. They were actually taken out on the th 17th of May and brought back today, which is the 22nd. She's got a $42 late charge, so I cannot return that. Otherwise, the late charge is going to be nullified and it's going to be canceled out. So I'll just cancel the whole damn thing and I'll go get myself a new movie. I'll just put this one here. Hope this one didn't read either. What the hell is going on? Okay, that one will read. Let's go pick out another one. We better hurry up because we only got about three more minutes until we open. So just grab another sucker here. Well, the old drop box isn't as full as it usually is in the morning. 
and we'll just burn over here because we've got a few more things I gotta show you how to do. Okay, uh, we'll take out that customer. Um, um, okay, we're gonna return Wicked Step Stepmother 24582. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna return those two. Hit enter, clear, return, finish the transaction, go right through, store it. Now we can go print our sales summary from yesterday since we have our first return of the day. So we're gonna go to the main terminal, terminal number one in the back here. We're gonna go to edit screen, no stations, yesterday's date, 5 20 91 from two in the morning yes to yesterday until two in the morning and now it's saying to me P to print S to start printing and this will be all the cat this will tell me all the cash all the food all the the blank tapes all the accessories all the movies all the Nintendo games that went out for yesterday okay what else do we got to do here this big till here this is where we keep our big till this is where we keep all the change that should we need it for our till now this should always be five hundred dollars right okay so we're gonna see if it's five hundred dollars this is what you gotta do first thing in the morning is count the big back till just use the old calculator here our sales summary is finished printing and I'll show you how to read that in just a second right after I finish counting the big till okay here are some twos two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty thirty two thirty four thirty six thirty eight forty dollars and two and we got some loose change in here, 50, 65 cents and change. So we got the $40.65 so far, so you can tell it's not going to be up right on. Um, four quarters, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. We got $180 in quarters. Loonies, we got 100, 220. The small stuff. Let's count the, the uh, nickels. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 dollars in nickels. Pennies, we got 1 dollar, 2 dollars, 3, 4, 5, 50 in pennies. In dimes, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and our grand total is 490 dollars and 15 cents, which is supposed to be 500 dollars, but we have been having some problems with this damn Till. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, let's just put the money back. We'll do a recount later. You, and then when you have counted it, you sign your name on this sheet here. You sign out how much you got, the date and the time that you counted it, and your name right there. Okay, we're running a little bit slow here. We should have been open two minutes ago. So we'll just open up the store and I'll show you some more things as we go along. The till is counted. I'm going to recount it later just to be sure. Now we're going to go out and officially open up the store. Nobody's waiting to get in, so thank goodness for that. I'm not going to get in trouble or anything. Unlocking it by just switching the old bolt lock here. And this is what happens. Okay, so it's uh, unlocked. Go over here and switch the old sign from, from close, please come again to yes, we're open. So we are now officially open. Now what I gotta do is I gotta find a till full of money to bring out in case we should get a customer. Um, I'm gonna count it in the back here, but if somebody comes in, I'll know because I'm gonna hit on the door chime. So when that thing goes off like that, I know somebody's in the store, so I gotta kick off, so to speak. Okay, I'm gonna count my till over here. Let's go. <laughs> you see that little uh, ridge there? You always gotta watch for it when you're running in the store. <laughs> okay, my till is in my till. This is what I'll be using throughout the day. 
This is my first transaction, so I got to hold on to that. I'll put this here where the movies go that are returned. Okay. Okay, let's go turn on the VCR. Power on. VCR. Let's go turn on the TVs, the remote. Five after ten. Let's see if we got any customers yet. Nope, nobody. Okay, we turn on the TVs. And we turn on the display lights. See if the old TV is on. Ah! Oh, okay, I ran into that. Here's an Arnold Schwarzenegger kindergarten cop display. Made to look like it was done by a little kid. Let's run over here and turn on the customer computer. This is a handy computer customers can use to look up movie titles for themselves. This computer will tell you what section the movie is in, if we have it in, if it's out, what time it's coming back. Turn on this TV. Turn on this display. This is a display that I actually worked on. It's a display for a graveyard shift. There's my skull in the corner there. Made some headstones out of styrofoam. Uh, a coffin, the big moon in the background is what I did. Actually, this uh, sign is Johnny Flippett Cemetery. It's just a cemetery. This is a display for a graveyard shift. Let's zoom over here to the other TV. And turn it on. And turn on the Rocky Five display. Made by our employee, Paul. Oh, that's on the wrong channel, obviously. There we go. I'll go over to this one. Turn on this TV. And turn on the display for our Edward Scissorhands display, which was made by Carrie, another one of our employees here. And now we have to find a movie. Okay, I'm going to go and put the remote control back. Every movie, and I'm ready for customers. Except that I have to recount that till. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything in action I want to watch? Uh, nah. Nah. I don't usually play a lot of action movies. If I do, it's Raiders of the Lost Ark or one of the Indiana Jones films or a Rocky film. Cartoons. I like to start the day off. Oh, we got a couple of new ones here. I don't know. Should we go for the basics, the old Daffy Duck? Why not? Slip in Daffy Duck into the VCR. Close the doors. And put the, the case into the now playing box so that people know what we are playing on the TVs. And you'd be surprised a lot of people ask even though we have that. And Daffy Duck should be appearing on the TV any second here. Um, what else do you do when you open the store? Okay, we have to do the sales summary. Remember I showed you how to print that up? Let's hang up the old keys here where I normally do. Okay. Any customers yet? Okay. Let's check the schedule to see who I'm working with today. Today, of course, is the 22nd. Um, where are we here? Uh, okay, the 22nd. Um, Kevin K is on holidays. Paul is working 6 to 10. I'm working 10 to 5. Um, who's that? K. 
Terry is working four to midnight. I mean five to midnight. And Tabitha is working ten to six. But she will not be in or from twelve to six because she has some kind of appointment or something. Here's a couple of stuff. Um, in the back here we keep our chocolate bars. I've showed you all this before, so we won't bother going into it. We got a new thing here though. It's a we sell now we sell, we now sell cards. Here's our card display. We have um, score and baseball. Score baseball there. Um, pro set NFL. Pro set hockey. Score hockey. Fleer baseball. Comic ball by Upper Deck. Skybox. Donruss baseball. NBA hoops. The score box set of 40 young superstars. Upper Deck hockey. Music superstars from Pro Set. Rookie traded cards from Score, baseball and hockey, um, Pro Set uh, NFL commemorative set, Super Bowl, and the Pro Set PGA Golf set. Here we have a display case over here, and all the stuff that's available from our store. Um, the upper deck set is right there. It's available for a hundred bucks. I know it's a little bit expensive. The um, the basketball hoops collection is going for 124. The basketball FLIR uh, collection is going for $34.95 and the hockey score is going for $54.95. Um, Eric Lindros card right there. And we got, all uh, we got a lot of stuff available like the little boxes for cards and the binders. So that's a new thing we're trying out. This is um, what I actually colored myself. I colored these cards. I made a little pro set sign as you can see, a skybox sign. A score and an upper deck sign, all made by me. Okay, now I'll just turn on the old popcorn machine here. That's another thing I forgot to do. Keep the rest of the popcorn from yesterday nice and hot and fresh. Another thing that I have to do when you that, that you have to do first thing in the morning is go to the drop box here, slide her out, and take out all of the movies. Now I'm going to take the movies out and put them on this counter right there because that's where mostly the movies are always uh, returned anyways so you want to watch me in action like I said uh, usually the drop box is more full than that busy yesterday and not many people have movies out, I don't know. But another thing, Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every single movie and check to see if it's rewound, which this one isn't. I'm going to go through every movie and see if they're rewound, and if it's the right movie in the case, and if it's facing the right way.
handy magic wand, I will return these. One thing that I forgot to do um, with this sale summary, what I have to do, I have to call the totals to our head store at Portage Avenue. But before I can do that, I have to check a few things. First of all, I have to add up all the rentals. New releases, we rented out 134 new releases yesterday, 43 regular titles, 8 free movies went out, 6 children's movies and one staff movie. A staff member rented a movie yesterday. 192 movies went out yesterday. Uh, and we made okay, 400 and $440.86 86 we made on new releases. We made $141.47 on regular titles. For children's movies, we made $5.94. Yesterday, for all rentals, except excluding Nintendo, we made $580.27. I'm going to call the Portage store, 888-5660, that's where Bill, and Bill is located at. Hi, it's Henderson calling with our... Okay, for rentals we've got 192, and revenue 58827. Uh, yeah. Alright, thanks. Bye. What do you do? and they keep track of that. And now with this sales summary, I later have to count up all the money to see if it equals our total. That's what I forgot to do.